All righty, Craig and Emma, thank you very much. So we do have a winter weather advisory in effect until 7 a.m. Friday for the county is highlighted here because of some snow as well as some sleet and freezing rain. Now, how to watch out for this right here outside of our viewing area here is a winter storm warning in effect until about 7 p.m. as we head towards Friday as well. They can see a lot of snow, some areas up to the north, possibly over a foot of snow possible. Obviously, lesser amounts further to the south and a gale warning further down toward the south now along the coast because of gusty winds that will also be expected until about 6 p.m. on Friday. So, of course, plenty of alerts in effect with the active weather that's looking to take hold. Right now, though, not a whole lot going on. We have clouds moving in from the west going toward the east. Not much action going on in the atmosphere just yet. The action is further off toward the west. So here it is right here. We're watching this area. Low pressure is developing now this morning. Tracking off towards the east. I'll push high pressure away. And so by later on this afternoon, the chances for snow showers start. Then overnight, it will increase. With the rising temperatures as well, we'll see a transition to all rain. So all Friday now looks to be all rain. So nothing to get too worried about except for maybe some heavy downpours from time the time. Let's time this out with future cast. So again, later this afternoon, about, by about 2 to 3 o'clock, the snow chances will begin and continuing overnight as well. But notice what happens as we get towards early morning. We get some, a push of warmer air, and we'll see things switching over to all rain as temperatures rise. Snow farther off towards the north, and it could be heavy from time to time as we head towards Friday morning. But most of us, so it will stay as rain. Well, the worst of it lasting through parts of Friday, but by Friday afternoon, the evening time frame, the worst of it will start to taper off. And that looking like most of Saturday could possibly be dry with a few light rain or snow showers by that point. So the worst of it looks to be Friday that we'll see this precipitation. As for the rainfall, though, look at this around one to two inches maybe locally higher amounts before we're all finished up. So some decent rainfall on the way, but there is a snow side of this as well. And this is mainly further off towards the north where several inches of snow will be possible. Maybe around six to seven inches just around the Millinocket to the Greenville area, but maybe up to a foot further off towards the north. A lot of this may melt with rising temperatures and the rainfall moving in. And obviously hardly anything further down toward the south with the warmer temperatures as well. Wave heights are down for now at around two feet, but we will be watching this map going up with the gale warnings in effect in a system that will be moving in. So your forecast for today, mid thirties afternoon snow showers and a southeast wind getting up to about five to 10 miles per hour. Later on side, 31 degrees. I want your mix gets going. It'll switch over to rain overnight. Southeast wind gusting up to about 25 miles per hour. For tomorrow, upper forties, maybe lower fifties. Rain likely will be heavy at times. A south wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour. And here's a look at your experience. Extended forecast. So now a slight chance for a wintry mix on Saturday with highs in the lower 30s. A slight chance for snow, otherwise partly cloudy on Sunday. Highs in the low 30s. Partly cloudy on Martin Luther King Day. Highs in the low 30s.